Hello, in this video of the ADLM 2000 series, we'll show you what you need to do in order to use the module with scoping on your Mac. The process consists of two parts. Installing Libio, our library that provides generic access to Linux industrial input-output devices, and installing Scopy, the software application. Let's get started and plug our device into the computer. Make sure you connect the cable to the connector in the middle, which has a USB symbol as a label. Open the MQK as an external mass storage device and click on the info.html file. Horrendous is required for remote network driver interface specification, which is a USB protocol that provides a virtual Ethernet link. If you don't want to access your device over network, don't install Horrendous. It is optional. Download the Libio package and the Scopy disk image. Install the library as shown. To test your installation, run IIO underscore info minus A in a terminal window. The output should contain our ADLM 2000 module. Now, let's move on to installing Scopy. To install the application, open the disk image and copy Scopy to your applications directory. With the ADLM 2000 still plugged into your computer, open the application and the device will appear in the home screen. Select it by clicking it. Now, the home screen should contain information about your device, such as the serial number or the firmware version. Clicking the Connect button will establish a connection between the ADLM 2000 and your computer. Notice how the text on the button changes to calibrating for a little while. We'll cover this calibration process of the MQK in the next video of this series. Congratulations! Your setup is now fully functional. Now, depending on the experiments you wish to conduct, make the correct connections between the ADLM 2000 pins and use the appropriate instrument. The following videos will handle each instrument separately. In addition, we'll provide information on more advanced settings for both Scopy and the ADLM 2000. For more resources and information on the ADLM 2000 module and Scopy, please visit wiki.analog.com. Here you can find detailed guides on how to get started, hardware schematics, pinout diagrams, tutorials for each instrument, and lastly, practical activities and lab exercises to be done with the module. If you have questions that this video did not answer to, please feel free to ask us on the Engineer Zone forum in the Virtual Classroom section. You'll find links to all kinds of helpful pages in the video description. Thank you for watching.